Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Hey amazing hackers, Hackshader here from HM Cyber Academy, hope you're doing good. In this incredible web hacking series with the server side topics, we have XXE injection with us for today and let us get in. So basically what is meant by XXE? It is an XML external entity. So that, that's what XXE is and we call it as injection. And what is meant by XML? So there is a full form for this XML that is extensible markup language. You heard about markup language within HTML, right? So in the same way, this is an extensible markup language, but within this particular language, only the data can be transmitted from the server side to the client side as well as client to the server side. Okay, in order to transfer data from the server to the client and client to server, we have two most famous things that is XML and the other one is JSON. These are the two different formats how the data, just the data flows from the client to the server and server to the client. Okay, obviously when data is flowing from client to server, we can put some payloads and we can put some injections. So that's how, you know, the XXE injection has come out. Yeah, that's all. Let us get into the details. So if you see here, this is the proper format of an XML injection. Okay, so till here, XML injection or XXE, whatever you call it. Okay, so here we have an attacker and this attacker has given a payload and yeah, I'll explain about the payload, but uh, mostly the important thing is the file etc password. Okay, so the attacker wants this particular data and uh, in the response we are getting the data so let us find out this the whole concept what is happening exactly within the lab okay so that's the reason i'm not going deep into the payload here right here okay so let us go to the lab yeah here is our lab exploiting xxe using external entities to retrieve files okay so let us open this and meanwhile let me open this lab in a new tab this lab has a check stock feature that parses XML input and returns an unexpected value in the response. All right. To solve the lab, inject an XML external entity to retrieve the content of etc password. All right. So that's what our task is. So we need to retrieve the content of this. And uh, obviously the vulnerable parameter or the vulnerable functionality is this check stock feature. Okay. So let us get into this particular one and put on the burp and just reload it once again so that we get the whole traffic to the burp. All right, let me go to this first one view details. All right, just scroll down and here you can see a check stock feature. Okay, let me click on this check stock feature. And yeah, now if you can see we have a number called 278 units. So this item has 278 units in stock. Okay. And if you observe this, so did, did the whole page uh, refresh at once or did the only this 278 units, uh, this only this particular thing came, we saw that only this particular thing come. Okay. Uh, the page did not load. That means, uh, you know, uh, the data or the request, what is whatever from the client side it is going when we click on the check stock feature is going either in an XML format or a JSON format or any other format, which is not the HTML format. Okay. Which is not the actual HTML format and it is bringing back the data from the server. Okay. So let us go to the burp proxy. And here you should be seeing something called, yeah, this one product stock. And yeah, if you can see, this is that particular one and the product ID is one and the store ID is one. So what shall we do now? Uh, let us take this to the repeater. And if you can see here, the, I mean, the response has come. Okay. So hit on send. All right. We have the units right here. So let me change this uh, product number to two and hit on send again. And now if you can see, we have, we got a different number, obviously. So now the point is, uh, this particular uh, feature is vulnerable here. Okay. The store ID, let us change the store ID to zero and 
check okay there are store ids as well okay one hit on send all right so uh, let now the point is that uh, as the but uh, as the question says that uh, where is this yeah check stock uh, check stock feature is the vulnerable uh, feature okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to write a particular payload here just like that i'll explain you each and everything when I, while typing only okay so just open it like this and just write in that it's not a doc type document type it is not a document type and we are naming it as uh, what shall we name uh, let us name it as stock check only okay okay stock check we are naming it as stock check and within this particular uh, thing uh, what we are telling uh, sorry square brackets yeah here we are telling that uh, again we are uh, telling it is not an entity and uh, let us name it like something something like that okay so i am naming it as hm that's it okay let me put small letters yeah obviously this uh, xml injection i mean or the xml uh, is a case sensitive okay so whenever you give something it has to be case sensitive and you need to give if you want to use it again you will have to give the same one again okay uh, so whatever it may be uh, it's not an entity here and we have given it a name called hm and then now what do we want we want the uh, uh, etc password okay so where does that etc password the file is there so it will be in the server's file system okay so that's why we are giving us sys tem system okay and then now we are specifying that file location so file colon slash 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 etc slash passwd all right sorry uh psswd uh this is good i think this is good right so let me hit on enter here so now the point is that uh, we are defined we have defined that this is not a document type and we have given a proper name for that and within that uh, we have defined a defined that it is not an entity and we have given a name and uh, what it has to do is it has to go, go through the system and get this particular file okay but uh, now let me hit on send no it doesn't work it just doesn't work the reason is we have defined everything but we haven't called this particular one okay so now we have to call it we can call it here product id uh, let me put so this is the syntax how we call something okay hm and at the lo at last it's a semicolon and now hit on send and now boom if you can see it says that invalid product id but after that it gives the whole data of this particular file okay so that's how it is so uh, this is how simple an xml injection works uh, but uh, here the point is the syntax so you need to learn how it works and how exactly you need to call each and everything if even if you define you need to call it again okay that's how very very simple and you know silly mistakes that i have done in the first time is i haven't given this semicolon once i haven't given this ampersand sometimes like i have did some few things i did not use this particular one we say in programming language we say it as not okay so i haven't given this uh, sometimes so these are the beginners mistakes that i have done and i uh, i am telling this because like you should not do repeat the same mistakes okay all right then congratulations you have solved the lab and have a great day bye bye